Hello, welcome back to my channel. Alright, today we're gonna do something crafty, an at home project. I'm refinishing this dresser. This dress is going in the boys' room, and um, it's been a while since I've done this. So let's go ahead and stop, rewind, and take a look at this old dresser I did back in 2015 to see my potential of course so turquoise tall dresser vintage and I also what I did was I did the inside as well really nice and I sold that and I also had this little storage wooden dresser door side table various uses I loved how the gold turned out I was eh, the, the color was okay I was looking for like a mauve color but I messed up the first coat because I put the top coat on too early so this is what I ended up with a new color I couldn't recreate the color but here it is all right so we're gonna take a look here these are the drawers not too nice in here so we're gonna have to cover those and let's go ahead and try to take apart I'm gonna go ahead and take out the drawers first and today we're gonna to be using these materials for this dresser and we're gonna start off with our paint stripper and we're gonna take all this varnish off so we can have a nice um, coated paint on there I start by taking off the hardware for each drawer I'm gonna reuse these hardware, I'm not gonna buy new ones. And then we're gonna go ahead and apply our paint stripper. I have never used one before. I've actually never used one before. But I'm gonna use one today, take off this varnish. And it works really fast. And I mean, it takes like a layer off, of course, it doesn't go too deep into the wood, but it's enough. And this top of this dresser, as you, as you noticed, the previous owner, I think they did an oil paint job on here. It's pretty bad. All right, so we're gonna sand these drawers. I'm gonna need an automatic sander because this shouldn't take this long. If I were to do any future projects, which I may do. I really started off by scraping it first and then sanding it, especially in those little gutted areas. long this is the longest process um, this is the hardest process and the, probably the least fun process of this whole entire process but I've been pretty good by taking a lot of the varnish off so you can have the paint adhere to the wood really well I went ahead and I cleaned it up you can use any kind of like disinfection or anything any kind of cleaner to clean it up and clean off those all that debris and this is like how the wood is looking this took a couple hours now what I'm doing is I don't have like a usual furniture primer so I'm gonna use my gesso that I usually use for my artwork or my canvases and I'm gonna actually use that as my primer and it is a canvas primer so it should work since wood is also a medium we use to paint with too so it should definitely work very important on the top in hopes that it looks better than what it already looks like because it wasn't looking so great so I'm going to need a couple coats of those. And I'm 
gonna go ahead and do the drawers as well. This is what it looks like. I had run out of gesso so it doesn't look too thick on the drawers. And I used most of it on the dresser itself and a lot of it on the very top because I needed that. So we're going to use some Waverly chalk paint and let me tell you this is my first time using this brand's chalk paint and it's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 and you're going to see why it's a 10 out of 10. This is black so and the color is called ink. These are very hard to find. You can find them at Walmart. Pretty much the only place I can really find them is Walmart and the colors are very limited. And they're barely ever in stock. But black is usually in stock. They don't usually use that as often. And you can see I just put like a little goo up on there. I didn't use a palette or anything. And just one coat. And that gesso also here really helps too because like once you have that gesso on there, it like really makes the paint sit on it very well. But as you can see, just one coat does the job. It's amazing. And I'm so used to doing at least, at least three coats of paint for anything I've done. And just one coat does this, this well. And it's a matte color too, so it looks amazing. So now I'm excited to get the rest of the dresser painted, especially that top. As you can see the lines in the middle, as in like the little seal enamel that they usually put on furniture, it's gone off that one. Um, they probably deteriorated or something. Um, so that's a pretty obvious thing you can see, but it's going to look a lot better. Now that painted the whole thing, now lastly the very top. And even though I would think it would need it needed more than one coat, it only needed one coat because the chalk paint is such good quality. I'm going to seal it with a matte sealant called polycrylic. Polycrylic is probably the best sealant so far that I've been able to use. I haven't tried much new ones. I'm not gonna put any expensive varnish on there, but I mean, probably feel like it's all right. I mean, it gets the job done, but the finished look is, eh, it could be better. But sadly, I'm gonna have to put this matte paint over this beautiful chalk colored furniture. I really like the way it looked before the varnish. I really did. But if you want that paint to stay on there, you are always going to need a sealant. Paint does not just stick there and stay. So I went ahead and sealed and or varnished the dresser. And this is what it looks like. It's a little matte. I feel like the matte isn't matte enough. So here is the hardware. Hardware is a little rusty and I had lit it, left it outside so it got really rusty and it's been raining so there's a lot of moisture in the air. So I'm going to start spray painting the back first and then I'm going to go ahead and spray paint the front and it's amazing how it looks but it has this little etchy finish but this is a chrome colored spray paint i was trying to find gold but i don't know since the pandemic everything is always out of stock whatever you want is usually out of stock and this is what they look like dried and if you look closely some of them turned out pretty good the other ones are kind of yeah so i went ahead and put what i should have done first is put this gesso on there but i didn't even know i had it I found that I had another set of gesso paint somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and coat those with gesso and see if they turn out a little better. So I'm spray painting it again. And guess what happens? It's raining, so water starts to get all into the handles. So therefore, 
it doesn't turn out the way I wanted it to, which sucks. It looked nice at first, but I mean, I haven't had a day of rest from the rain, so. Here's what the inside looked like, just in case I forgot to show you before. Little grainy, woody looking um, contact paper. And here's the finished product. This is supposed to be black and gold, but it turned out to be black and chrome. And that's about it. I didn't really get too fancy just going in the boys' room. So subscribe if you want to see more from me. Later.